Hey, what's up, fellas? It's the uh, 24th. Uh, just happened to get back with my wife's car from a tire discount. Um, and this video is going to be uh, titled, uh, Women Will Not Survive Without Men. It's just... All right, so this morning my wife said her car's uh, driving a little funny. And I was like, okay. Um, we agreed that um, I'll take care of my car, and she really didn't want any help, any more help with her car. So I was like, okay. And that's been a while since she's been on her own doing that kind of stuff. And she said, her, anyway, her car's riding a little funny. And I go out and I, I, I start looking at it, and her tires look like they're a little bit low. So I go and I check them. And for her car, which is a Honda CRV, it's a 32 PSI in the front and a 30 PSI in the back. And I think she had 12 PSI in the back two tires and maybe 18 to 20 PSI in the front tires. And I was like, what the hell? So then I grab a penny. And it, do you know the little say-ism about if you can see Lincoln's whole head? Then it was, it was bad. <laughs> it was really bad. So I got out the thing and pumped the tires up as much as I could. Made an appointment with Tire Discount, which is off on the west side by the uh, outlet stores. And... Uh, uh, we go in there, and uh, anyway. So she buys the tires that she has on the car right now in 2017 when she had about 30,000 miles on the car. And I asked her what the mileage was on her car now, and it's 88,000 miles. And I asked her how long were her tires supposed to be good for, and she said 35,000 miles. And I was like... That's like 58, that's like, what is that, 20 some odd thousand miles above and beyond when she should have got a whole new set of tires. So we pull into the tire discount place and, you know, they, they come out with the guy and they come out and check the tire tread and stuff like that. And he goes, hey, can you guys wait here and I'll be right back. And he comes out with like three or four guys and one of them has a camera and they're taking pictures of her tires and all that kind of stuff to put on the website. And he was like, I don't think any anyways. Anyways, and oh, by the way, she she tells him, oh, yeah, I hit a couple curbs. And I'm like, well, there's this. Anyways, let me just so we we'll get her new tires, we'll take over, get her an oil change, get the brakes checked. And then she said, well, if you don't mind, would you mind uh, taking a look at my car from now? And I said, okay, I'll do it once a week. And it's uh, preventive maintenance, checks and services. In the military, it's called PMCS. And I said, I, that's what I do to my car every Saturday morning. Oil, air pressure, clean the car up a little bit, check the filters, all that kind of stuff. Anyway, make sure I'm not going over on the oil. Because, you know, oil's cheap, but engines cost a lot. Tires are relatively cheap. Accidents fucking suck. I cannot tell you. So um, we get the new, uh, I tell her, baby got a new pair of shoes for her car. And uh, we're driving back. She oh, the car handles so much nicer. <laughs> she says, I don't have to prep to stop anymore. And I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> and I rode with her. Anyways, to the place. Anyways, all right, I'm all right. Love you guys. I'm telling you, they won't survive without us. I don't care what. Love you guys. Stay safe and healthy. Take care of each other if you can. And if you can't, take care of yourself. It is. Oh, now, you know what's funny? Is I think the longer we're married, the smarter I'm getting. <laughs> no, my wife thinks I'm smarter now. Anyway, I was like. And, you know, if you, get, if you, end, up, all right, you end up in court. You know they're going to accidents cause you accidentally hide your plane because you got shitty tires on your car. Anyways, let me just stop. Like a fart in a G-string from West Texas, El Paso. I'm out of here. Love you guys. Bye-bye.